Joining us now is Eric Pascal. Eric, I appreciate you taking the time after a long flight. Sets a stage for me. What's the mood of the team two days before taking on the Nets and Kevin Durant? Uh, I feel like we're very excited. Um, I feel like we're very excited to play. I mean, we haven't played basketball in like nine, ten months now. So uh, very excited to get back on the floor and uh, see what this team does this year. Any conversation on that plane ride about the best barrier wrapping competition, E40 or too short? Oh, uh, no, we actually didn't talk about it. We actually did not, which is surprising. But I, I watched some of it. Uh, it was fun to watch. I mean, even though I'm not from the barrier, but uh, it was fun to watch. Of course, I knew some of those songs. So, uh, real cool event, and um, I'm happy they did it. Eric, you were one of the few bright spots on a team that lost 50 games last season. What did it mean to you to make a all-rookie first team? Uh, obviously, obviously, it meant a lot to me, uh, especially being a second-round pick, the 41st pick. Uh, it was something that, that meant a lot to me and my family and uh, just showed the hard work that I put in all year. But uh, I feel like this year, again, we're going to be a lot better, and uh, we're definitely not going to lose 50 games, I feel like. <laughs> Last week, uh, Steve Kerr spoke about what he'd like to see you improve upon in your second year. Biggest thing that I'm on him about every day is his defense. Um, he's, he's got to get better, especially as a weak side defender. What steps have you taken to improve that part of your game? Uh, he just means being an active weak side defender. So if the play is coming, uh, somebody's dropping and you're at the weak side or the other block, you come and make a play or just active, disrupting stuff. And uh, as soon as he said that, I feel like the next game I try to apply it and try to uh, do what he's asking. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just learning day by day and trying to uh, understand it better. Recognizing schemes and patterns uh, on the court, doesn't that come with time, minutes on the floor? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely does. But it, I feel like because uh, I'm an older guy, it should, it should click right away. So uh, him saying it wasn't anything uh, that I couldn't do. So I just applied it the next time I could and um, tried to do my best. So Tuesday night, Draymond's out with a foot injury, a minor uh, injury, but you're going to start. Uh, how has Draymond helped your game and uh, you as a person? Uh, he's helped my game a lot. Just seeing him compete, seeing his competitive edge every day and uh, him being vocal on defense, I feel like that's something I can try to bring to a team. So um, I just try to use that and uh, apply it to my game. And he's a great, great uh, vet to have and a great person to be around. So, uh, obviously, Draymond's not playing, but he's coming back. Clay is not coming back. That means you're going to have to score more points. Offensively, you're certainly capable, but uh, from three-point range, you're at, uh, hovering around 28%. I read that you made adjustments in your shot. What adjustments are those? Uh, just trying to jump less, uh, release the ball earlier and uh, just staying square. And I feel like that that can help me out a lot. And uh, again, try to help out this team as much as I can. Hey, getting back to the E40 and too short, Steph Curry didn't dance on the airplane tonight, did he? No, nah, he didn't, he did he did <laughs> I saw a clip on uh, social media and his family released today. He's still working on the rhythm a little bit. I, uh, Eric, I appreciate you taking the time. Good luck on Tuesday night against the uh, net and continued success. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.